Travelers across the nation remain stranded tonight as thousands of flight cancellations continue to be an issue nationwide after that massive winter storm. On your side, Zach Wilcox is live tonight at Jacksonville International Airport. So Zach, are things finally starting to get better there? You look very relaxed in that rocking chair. Yeah, Heather, I figured I'd relax because you know what? They fortunately have these rocking chairs out here right in front of TSA for folks to relax in a little bit before their flights or while they're waiting for somebody. And some folks have had to get pretty comfortable at the airport the past couple of days. Yesterday, we saw 71 delays. Today, that number, fortunately, we're working our way down. Only 40 delays, but I'm still saying only 40 delays. And, of course, the real story here is another day of 15-plus cancellations, 18 the last time I checked and that leaves a lot of folks trying to get creative and uh, play their own version of planes, trains and automobiles trying to find their way out of town. It feels like not a movie, but it feels like a series because <laughs> you got to go through all these steps, you know, so it's not it's, it's really slowly four days four cancellations every morning. Emmanuel Pagan thinks it's going to be the day that his family gets back home to Buffalo, New York. He was supposed to fly out Friday, but says Frontier keeps canceling his flight, sticking him on one for the next day, then canceling that flight. And I'm inspector, and I think because of this situation with the airlines and the buses and such at all, um, I'm going to lose my job. Pagan says if his fifth attempt at the flight to Buffalo doesn't get off the ground, he'll be changing his approach. If that doesn't work, I prefer to take my bus from Jacksonville to New York. Meanwhile, at the Amtrak train station in Jacksonville, other folks have already given up wings for wheels. Full. There was 200 people in three cars. Dolores Rockwood takes the train down to see her daughter every year, but says she's never seen it as full as her trip back. She'll take the trusty train again next year, but as busy as it was, she thinks she may plan her holiday travel a little differently next time. I'm going to stay two days longer next year, I think. Yeah. My mind would be as many people traveling back at the same time. As for Pagan, when he finally makes it back to Buffalo, his family plans to spend next Christmas at home. Overall vacation is going to be for more than two years <laughs> until uh. I do another one. So if there's any silver lining here, it's that uh, the parking situation here at the airport is drastically improving. Yesterday when I was here, all but one lot was full. And today the airport tweeted that the garages, all the lots, and all the surface lots are open again. So that hopefully is an indication that we are working our way back to normal. But I tell you what, usually when I'm coming to the airport, I'm trying to run to my flight and sit right by the gate. So I'm going to enjoy what I can out of this rocking chair here before they close up for the night. <laughs> uh, at the airport, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News on your side. All right, a bit of a bright spot there, Zach. Thank you. And here's a look at tonight's arrivals from Jacksonville International Airport. So a reminder, if you have a flight coming up, make sure you check with your airline in advance or the website flyjacksonville.com to get the most up-to-date information on cancellations and delays. Now, the airline with the most canceled flights, that's Southwest Airlines, hit hardest in part because of weather in its two major hubs. We're talking about Chicago and Denver. And tonight, Southwest Airlines CEO apologized for the situation. But clearly, we need to double down on our already existing plans to upgrade systems for these extreme circumstances so that we never again face what's happening uh, right now. Quest says it's optimistic that the airline will be back on track before next week. And with so many flight cancellations, many passengers are looking into other options to make it to their destinations. But that means some long lines at car rental counters for people hoping to drive home. Jacksonville International Airport has seven agencies offering car rentals to travelers. Many in line earlier today say they had advanced reservations, but still had to wait with everybody else requesting cars. One man says he and his family flew from Houston and it took longer to get a rental car than just to fly to Jacksonville. They said for whatever reason, our preferred number, there's a preferred desk, and our preferred number didn't sync with our reservation for whatever reason. Even after showing our preferred account, uh, they still wouldn't help us. We had to get in line with everybody else, which is fine. It just took 90 minutes. And then when our cars were ready, they told us it's going to be 30 more minutes because they have to clean them. First Coast News reached out to several of the other car rental companies about their availability and their wait times, but we've not heard back just yet.